Hey Shasi here, welcome to the workshop. I uh, just thought I'd give you a little update on my latest experiments with uh, mechanical animation machines, in particular zoetropes. So here's a, a recent experiment that I'll jump ahead and show you the final product. So this is um, a Tasmanian devil head zoetrope. I uh, sculpted and animated the devil head in Blender on the computer and then 3D printed out each of the eight frames of the animation. Uh, you can see there's a little micro switch that gets engaged as the wheel spins and that connects the electricity to strobe the light on and off. And that means you see a, a smooth animation rather than a, a blur as it all spins around. I did find that in a bright room you still ended up seeing too much of the sculpture even when the lights were off and you still saw a blur. So I needed to put a tinted screen over the front so that you couldn't actually see in when the light was off. Now originally I was going to put the devil heads on this wheel that you see here and I thought this would be a great way to make a zoetrope that didn't need to be in a dark room or didn't need a tinted screen over it, didn't need a strobe light. Uh, and didn't need electricity. So as you turn this bottom wheel, this top wheel moves with intermittent motion. Turns, stops, turns, stops. So you would get to see each frame in the picture uh, without the need for a strobe light. Um, and it worked okay, but there were a couple of problems. So one was, it's incredibly noisy. Now that probably could be improved with perhaps more of a Geneva mechanism rather than this uh, intermittent gear mechanism. Uh, it was also hard to get the speed up fast enough to get your animation as smooth as you'd really like. But there's still some experimenting to do here. This idea actually did work really well on a smaller scale. So this is a, a smaller one that I did using more lightweight wood and um, it's of a, a bird flapping its wings and it works quite well. If you want to make one of these yourself there's um, a kit version on my website and you can download it or buy the parts and, and make your own. Anyway, animation machines are great fun to play with so give it a try yourself and I'll see you next time. Contraptioncard.com